Hey everybody, it's me Carlos Lopez from AngryDance.com and I'm here at Grand Hope Park for Street Pass 2011 and I'm here with Josh, the main founder of Street Pass Network and I'm here with Noah, who is LA, representing LA. Hey man. How's it going guys? Thank you so much for being on the video. So tell me about the event so far and how's, how you guys planned it, how you all came to be here. Uh, well, we knew that E3 was happening this, uh, this week and we wanted to gather as many uh, people for Street Pass as possible because we knew that people would have their DSs here from all over the world. And uh, we just uh, wanted to schedule an event where all of us gamers can come together as one and uh, interact with one another and socialize and basically just have a good time, exchange information, and uh, it's turned out great thus far. Cool, cool, cool. So, how many groups are we seeing from the Street Pass Network? Because there's too many people here. <laughs> so, who do we got? We got. You're Washington, you're right? You take care of Washington DC, right? Washington DC is my baby. Uh, we've also got Inland Empire. We've got VOC. Woo! We've got San Francisco represented. I mean, there's probably even a few more in here. Uh, but yeah, we've got easy half dozen represented today. So I see we see some stuff in the back. Can you guys tell us what's going on in the background there? Everybody can see. Like I see some Gamer Network shirts. You yeah. see some uh, Street Pass Network shirts. Those were uh, the love and care and brought to us by you know, the folks at Street Pass Orlando. Uh, Street Pass Orlando was actually founded by the folks at InSpace, who's developing Heroes of Ruin. So they were uh, very kind to share the love with us. Uh, there's also some paraphernalia for Heroes of Ruin, coincidentally enough, that is being shared here. Uh, and demos going on in the background. Cool, cool. Now, as, as you can see, there's a lot of people here. I think there's about maybe 30 or more here. Now, how would you guys want to see that this, this whole Street Pass Network to work even better in the future? What would you guys want as far as developers to see? Would you guys want more Street Pass stuff? Or you guys want more of a, I don't know, what kind of features would you like to be used for this new you know, technology that we just got for 30 years? One of the things I keep hearing from members is that as fun as it is to have Street Pass functionality in games, there's not a game yet that really takes advantage of the Street Pass gatherings. Most of the Street Pass functionality that you see is still being built around that one or two occasional hits that you get. But no one's keyed anything yet to meetups where there's 30, 40, 50 or more people. So if there's something that a developer can do to address that and build off of the potential in that regard, that I know would be very welcomed by a lot of gamers. Cool. Now, as all the games are being announced so far for 3DS, Noah and Josh, what are your games that you guys are looking forward to? Let's start out with you. I am most looking forward to Mario Kart 3DS. That is going to be my baby. <laughs> and of course, Super Mario, uh, Mario 3D, 3DS, and uh, Luigi's Mansion. That was yes. a surprise. And so everyone is really excited for that, and so am I. How about you, Josh? <laughs> Mario Kart 3D definitely uh, had hands-on time with it yesterday. Plays like a dream. It's going to go over very well in the Street Pass group setting. Uh, Heroes of Ruin had hands-on time with that yesterday. That's going to be glorious. And that could be the first game that really keys to that opportunity that's presented by Street Pass group meetups. Uh, another Street Pass game that I had hands-on time yesterday, Picture Lives. Uh, it's a really kind of under-the-radar thing right now. It's a download only through the eShop section. But uh, it is it's cute. It's quirky. Quirky, and it's going to appeal to a different crowd and add, I think, new members to the street cast groups. Cool. Now, they just announced Super Smash Bros. Or so it's in the works, you could say. <laughs> it's on pen and paper. <laughs> but how would you guys want street pass or just the Wi Fi network and everything else work for this Super Smash Bros.? If they were to make, if they were to just listen to you guys, what would you guys tell them? Well, I think they have a template in place with the way they have uh, Street Fighter and Dead or Alive, those battles that they have, and they you know, pass by one another. So I think implementing that in Smash Bros. would be essential, I think, for the game to be an even more, even more of a success. Um, but I think that you know they're on the right track with Street Pass. All these games are being developed with more and more Street Pass part of the game. So I think by the time that game comes around, um, you can see something really, really impressive. Cool, cool. cool. And now, Smash Brothers, I mean, you know, it's built around the guest stars yeah. who come into the games. And that's a, really what drives a lot of interest. You know, the fact that Mega Man wasn't in the last one, but could be in the next one, that really excites people. So perhaps if they want to look at some unique Street Pass function, have simulated battles along the lines of Street Fighter 4, but have special exclusive characters just for that mode. That's a cool, awesome idea. Perhaps even uh, having your Mii character battle. Hey, you never know. They just announced Super Mario exactly. Mii. So right. that'd be kind of cool. Super Mario Brothers Mii. <laughs> So if people want to follow you guys or know more about the networks, how, like, how can they get in contact with you? Well, uh, I run Street Pass Los Angeles, and you can find us on Facebook at Facebook.com at facebook slash Street Pass LA. Also on Twitter, Street Pass LA. 
And uh, for If you're outside the LA area, it's really easy. You just go to streetpassnetwork.com. You click on our groups and events tab, and there we have a broken down listing of all 300 groups internationally that we currently have listed. It's broken down by continent, it's broken down by country, and it's listed alphabetically by city. So if there's not one currently listed in your neck of the woods, get in touch with me. There's a mechanic to do so on the website. I'm more than happy to help get you going. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Noah and Josh. Thank you for your time. I know you're a busy man trying to help to support the new 3DS and everything. Well, guys, we're going to go back to the show floor and cover all the rest of E3. Bye.